hello guys and welcome to this video this video will be about introduction to python programming language this video won't be about installing python and that and all that no it's about starting with creating simple programs so the version of python that i'm using right now is version 3.9 so let us start to begin with we'll create a simple hello world and to start let us create a file you can call it hello.py and inside this file let us use print function to print text for us so they're using hello world in python when you're using quotes that means a string and you try to print it and get that one so because if you try another language say c you love to write some code but this one you just one line and it prints hello world so, so to continue it does touch on variables and variables are used for storing data or holding data say let's call this let's create a variable called name and we, we use the assignment operator here to assign it a value so we call it let's say hello there and let's try and print the variable to see what's in the variable what's inside the variable you see it's hello there so this is a variable and these are variables i created uh, and if i wanted to create a integer so you can do that and give it like that so what's inside this age variable is an integer called which i've given it number four so some simple basic arithmetic operation that we use this for multiplication and this for division this for addition subtraction exponent and this is for remi remainder of something or modulus and so hello here doesn't make sense but let's do that and we will try to print just try and print it and see you see it is a print here so these are just variables so we can create a variable for saying a we give it an integer value of 4 and b 3 and you can say c we assign c as a plus b mm. Let's say the sum of and see what we'll get. Let's try and print it. Yeah, you see, it's giving us seven. So we have also even stored integers inside a variable. This is how you do it. This is not like the other languages. You have to say you have to declare it and then instead initialize it. No. Uh, this one you, you don't have to do that so this is how you this is just a glimpse of working with king with variables i'm sorry i'm sorry about that so to continue you can see we can also work with data we can we can concatenate data let us see uh, rather print it you'll see using the concatenation operator but this is uh, for automatic operations for adding mm.
this is how you do it so let us go to lists and lists are used for storing large number of data uh, data doesn't have to be of the same type you can store string can store integer and a lot of data so let us create a let's give it let's create a list let's call it like this mm, separated by a uh, comma mm. And when you want to access the list, this is how you do it. Uh, using that. Let print it. You see, it will print the whole of it. So, uh, when creating lists, one thing you should know is that they are stored in indices form. So, you start from zero. going. Uh, if you want to access the first index, you have to use that one. You have to write zero. You see, it will access the first one. Uh, let's say you want to access something that's not there you'll we'll get uh, an error so index error so be aware of that so um, and that's about list not not basically just a glimpse of list so <laughs> if you want to comment in python you use a pound sign and what a comment is comment is maybe describing your program this is for describing your program. and when you run this program mm, a comment will be ignored it will be like a, um, an empty an empty space so it won't be it won't be in the output and uh, this is how you do it this is how you write a comment yeah.